Nissan's proposed acquisition of scam hit automaker Mitsubishi will catapult the Franco-Japanese company Renault Nissan to the exclusive club of the world's largest car makers and save it buckets of money. But is it the end of the Mitsubishi brand? CNBC TV 18's Rona Joy Banerjee spoke with Carlos Ghosn to find out which way the wind is blowing. Carlos Ghosn is on the verge of taking Franco-Japanese car maker Renault Nissan into the big league. But he believes his latest move, the offer to take over the battered Japanese car brand Mitsubishi, is in keeping with his philosophy that any outright takeover of a company only creates unnecessary cultural and political clashes. That's why Renault bailed out Nissan in 1999 by picking up a 43% stake, giving Nissan not only cash but also a 15% non-voting stake. And that's why this time, too, Nissan is acquiring only a little over one-third of Mitsubishi for $2.2 billion. That's just enough to call the shots while giving Mitsubishi enough to try and get back on its feet. The key words in this newly minted union is collaboration. Collaboration on technological development, collaboration on strengthening back-end linkages, and collaboration on saving billions in costs. We are here to... Uh, uh, reinforce the competitiveness with Mitsubishi by uh, buying together, uh, sharing uh, suppliers, localizing production, eventually uh, cross-manufacturing whenever it makes sense, and exchanging a lot of best practices. Clearly the front-end brands will remain separate and distinct, but this proposed acquisition is not without risk. Mitsubishi is steeped in a reputational crisis after admitting to falsifying emission data one that has caused a sharp dip in Mitsubishi's market cap and dealt a brutal hit to its brand value, making a recovery to the good old days a Herculean task for the car maker. But as Gon puts it, reviving Mitsubishi's fortunes and erasing scars that helped him strap into the car maker at a near 50% discount is not Nissan's job. This is uh, up to the management of Mitsubishi to do that, obviously. Uh, they are having some... Uh, problem today uh, with this. They are very conscious of it. I have no doubt on the sincerity of their concern. If I look at uh, the sales forecast for the year 2016 that has been announced by all the companies, uh, we should be around 10 million cars uh, already in 2016. Which means that now, uh, you know, at somewhere in the top three car makers. So the white knight isn't really a white knight, more like a black bishop. And that's why no definitive deal has been signed yet. Nor will it be till Nissan is sure that there are no more skeletons in Mitsubishi's cupboard. In New Delhi, Ronajai Banerjee.